Um, hello, everyone. I'm Glenn Williams. I'm the area head of sculpture. Um, let's wait for the to kind of start up. So um, in my work, I explore various human constructs through object making and what I like to think as poetic metaphors. Um, these first few images are part of a series of works I created um, in response to the Iraq war. But these pieces, I was not so much interested in critiquing the war as much as I was interested in exploring the psychological impact that the war had on individual families. Uh, the pieces are about misinformation, displacement, and mental detachment. Uh, with this particular body of work, I received a small grant to explore cardboard as a medium to produce sculpture. Uh, with the piece on the left, I was exploring how the reality of the modern family dynamic was in direct contrast with the socially accepted norm of the traditional family structure. The piece on the right was part of my intervention series where I would take an object out of its perceived natural environment and rearticulate that object in cardboard and place it back in an environment as its cardboard replica. Um, so that we hi uh, highlighted the artificial nature of our constructed environment. So as I started to gain some facility with the materials, I wanted to see how far I could push the, the manipulation of the cardboard. So I created this piece titled Bayou, based on a reinterpretation of the Hindu god of when or life's breath. The piece is a life-size um, atom is adorned with various attributes that aid in generating wind and breath. Uh, when I made this piece, I was thinking about the fragility of life and how those things that seem unfailing are truly not. So this is an image of my son, Shailen. He's my mini-me. Um, he has served as an inspiration for a number of the works that I address, um, perceptions of reality. I often find myself trying to imagine how he views his world, what he perceives as normal, a normal part of his everyday life. Others may view as extraordinary. So I did a series of works that I call my prosthetic series that examined the routine of everyday activities, such as taking a walk, riding a bike, from his perspective. Um, this is a, with this piece, I was thinking about mobility, and how for him it would seem logical that you could attach wheels to your legs to move around. These pieces are constructed from medical bandages, similar to the molding processes used to construct prosthetic devices or to set a broken bone. It was important for me that these materials that I used to make the sculptures were reflective of the ideas that I was trying to convey in the work. So the piece was cast out of plaster. The piece on the left was inspired by the preparation we had to take before we could take a walk in the evening. My wife and I found humor in the things that we had to gather in order to take a simple stroll around the block. Instead of gathering water bottles and snacks to throw into our gold bag, we were stocking it with medical supplies and equipment. The piece on the right is my interpretation of his adaptive bite. Um, with this series of works, I'm simply trying to find the beauty in the ordinary everyday activities of our life. Even if from the outside, they seem extraordinary or broken. So this series of works were based on a discussion I had with a neighbor. As we finished our conversation about how Shaylin was doing, he imparted these words on me. It is those seeds that struggle to take root in the beginning are the ones that become the strongest plants. I thought it was a beautiful sentiment that aptly reflected my family's situation at the time. So I made these outdoor ceiling sculptures that were intended to reflect that sentiment. When I have time, um, I like to pursue public art projects. This was a sculpture that I made for the city of Columbia, Missouri. They wanted a piece that was a reflection of their growing diverse community. So I proposed a ceiling form to symbolize that growth. Wrapped around the surface of the seed are snippets of different um, proverbs from around the world about how to be productive members in the community. The piece is about 15 feet tall and, and um, sits in front of our fire department. Um, this was a sculpture I made while I was in residency at Francodia Sculpture Park. Uh, I made this piece in response to the housing crisis in 2008. Uh, the piece was about the abandonment of building sites that literally occurred overnight when the housing market crashed. Almost in an instant, this thing that once symbolized prosperity now became the symbol of depression. So the piece is about 30 feet in width and uh, about 12 feet in height. So this is a project that I'm currently working on for Linda Sculpture Garden. It sits cut a corner to um, Yev's piece. I was commissioned to create my interpretation of a southern bottle tree, which in 
is the ritual practice of putting bottles on a tree to ward off or capture unwanted spirits before they can enter your home. The project is a collaboration with Portia Cobb, who will coordinate a performance piece on kinds of the um, about 15 feet tall, it's going to be made up staying still, and these bottles will be suspended from it. So that's my work in a nutshell. Um, this is just an image of my, my sculpture peaks. And if any of them listening, it's time to get back to work as, mm -hmm. I do, as soon as we're done with this. So thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.